Good morning. Um, Pam here from over at the Coloring Books Keep It Clean group on Facebook. And these are the tools I'm going to be using this morning. I've got a Prismacolor um, permanent pen that's black. And you can use anything that's waterproof. So not a big deal. Then I am going to be using Prismacolor Premier pencils this morning, 925 and 927. There it is if you want to pause and then um, write those down, or any two colors of your choice. I have made this with all my colored pencils on it that are, this is just the ones from Prismacolor, okay? And I will be doing a tutorial on this sometime soon. Um, I believe there is a tutorial on my tinkartist.blogspot.com, but I'm going to go ahead and do one for the YouTube channel that um, you can sit and also watch and not just read. Okay, first of all, here is a picture of a house. All this background is kind of bland. Just colored it in, just did it quickly with the... Um, Crimson Lake, but somebody said, what if your house has a lot of open space and it's boring? Well, number one, before you color it in, you can come in and add windows like this. Now, this one was already done this way. Um, this is from the book, 365 Promises from God's Word, and you're looking at the spine and going, wait a minute, where'd she get a spiral one? Mine's not spiral. No, I cut this up and made it into a spiral last night well about 2 30 this morning and um, so anyway it is on YouTube so you can go look for that and do it now what I do want to show you is I'm going to take this marker and I am not going to be very specific on having to have straight lines but I'm going to go in here and I am going to fake brick okay can you see how I did those lines just three little lines and then brick I'm gonna add some more is staggered so where there might be a line here then the next line would be over here then there would be one here and then one over here one over here and you can see how that's that's crooked and everything it's not really gonna matter okay I'm gonna do some more lines here the only thing you want to do is try to keep them the same distance from top to bottom okay keep your bricks about the same size there's another set okay Let's go over here, down a little. Let's add some more down here. So about the same height, not measuring. Just going to put them on here. When you've got a house that has so much open space, sometimes it can frustrate you. Um, the other thing you can do is get a ruler and put slats going across this way just sporadically like the way I did the brick your eye will fill in the rest of it you don't have to do the whole thing but sometimes we don't want our painting I call it painting coloring books to have as much open space as they do so then if you want more detail you're going to have to go in there and draw it. But nothing says you can't draw it. And I like to do things in odd numbers. So there's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to add some more over here. I don't really want to put it right here because that's what I did on the other side and I try not to mirror. So it's going to be a little hard to squeeze it in here, but I'm going to. So I'm going to put there, there. And some lines here and I'll split that then this and this and it still gives you 
that illusion of being bricks. Okay? So now let's come out from that. Do you see how my house is now a brick house? But do a search on houses. Um, people in California have a lot of stucco because of the earthquakes. In Texas, we have a lot of brick. In, um, well, my grandparents, where they lived in Missouri, it was siding. So do a little search and see what's going on there. Now, I want this part to look like it's popped to the front. I want it lifted out as if these are pushed to the back. So you would go to that front door before you get to the back. So I'm going to turn this a little sideways so that I can get in here. I'm coming in with that darker color that I showed you and doing little swirls to blend. I'm going to come all the way up this side. Little swirls as I come out. And you can see right there I missed a part with the red. Anytime you want to go back and see what you've missed or how something looks, take it to the bathroom mirror, turn on all the lights in the bathroom, and it will so help you to see anything that you have missed. Um, seeing it in reverse in a mirror just causes it to pop. Do you see how I'm not getting a line where I'm blending? That's because I'm doing these little swirls. Alright, I do have to go a little bit sideways up in there to get that in. Then back into swirls and see that was a um, permanent waterproof marker so I didn't have to worry about that smearing at all as I colored. Now I do see a little bit of a line right there so I'll just come in and even lighter touch back and forth between the two to get rid of that line. Alright now see how this area looks popped to the front and this looks pushed further to the back. I want this roof to look like it's actually overhanging this. So I'm going to come in and just color the very top of this. And now circling to blend. And I can actually get pretty deep way up here at the top. Turning my pencil so I can really get in there. Now that should have popped that roof out some because it's lighter. Now I want this part of the roof to look like it's over the top of this. So I just come in here with my darker color, fade it down to nothing, deeper up here. Oops, I'm going to slant you again. Move your work to where it's comfortable for you. You'll do such, such better work when you're comfortable. Okay, there's that. Now you see how that looks a little more recessed. I can do the same thing under each of these windows. Just a shadow. Start in the middle, work my way out. It's larger shadow in the middle, smaller on the sides. Do you see how that window looks like it's popped out a little now though? All right, same thing on all these. Just a little shadow underneath. Over here too, this, this has to get it. You do one, you do them all. There and there, that's okay. So, and yes, I will continue and shadow all this to match this side. But see how just adding those little bits of shadows and that little bit of brick helps break up that house Ah, you saw it, didn't you? I forgot this window. Do one, you do them all. Do the circular shape here because that window is circular. All right? Okay, so go work on your books. Have some fun. If you've got questions, need a video on something, let me know. And I usually try to get these videos out within a day or two. Sometimes it may take a week. Just depends on what I've got going on. 
Have fun, and I will see you over on Coloring Books Keep It Clean on Facebook.